What's up everybody? We got some Guns N' Roses news and the first piece of news is that Slash is going to be appearing in an upcoming documentary called Rumble, The Indians Who Rock the World. Now this film is going to be shown at the Sundance Film Festival uh, later on this month between January 22nd and the 28th. And uh, Slash is one of many artists who was actually interviewed for this movie, including Martin Scorsese, Quincy Jones, Steven Tyler, Steven Van Zandt, Iggy Pop, Tony Bennett, the list goes on and on. So the movie is actually uh, a documentary that tells the tale of the influence of indigenous people in contemporary rock. Now, uh, it's unlikely that Slash is going to be attending the film's premiere because Guns N' Roses are going to be playing in Japan around that time. And then we've got some news concerning Richard Fortas. So uh, Richard Fortas uh, was on Facebook talking to one of the Guns N' Roses fans, and he was responding to a fan's question and revealed that Guns N that basically the current lineup of the band is way better than the past lineup. Of course, Dizzy Reed has said the same thing too. So uh, one of the fans uh, called named Steve Major wrote on Facebook, "How lucky uh, were we in St. Louis during the '80s when we could go down to the landing and see a world-class guitar player like Richard Fortas displaying guitar playing like no one, uh, no like no other." The eyes as well as broken toys, owning the landing, watching Richard play all day over the world's biggest stadiums brings a smile to my face. I love this band and I personally like this lineup. Let's face it, whatever your opinion of the band is, they burst into the music scene like a raging hurricane. Biggest band of that era, bar none. Keep killing it, Richard. Now, Steve then linked to a Chinese democracy lineup era featuring You Could Be Mine, to which Ford has responded, Thanks, Steve. If you like that lineup, you're going to love the current one 100 times better, in my opinion. I really appreciate the support and kind words, but and I'm really not trying to be humble, but honestly, I was just very fortunate. I'm lucky to have come up to Saint, in the St. Louis scene that was so full of amazing talent and so many other great music supporters. So if you guys want to read the entire article, I've linked to it down below. And then we've also got an interesting interview I stumbled across. Uh, this is with Mark Cantor, who wrote the book Reckless Road. He's also one of Slash's closest friends and supposedly is made up with Axl Rose. So there's about a 45 to 50 minute interview with him. Uh, at, I think it's at Cantor's Deli and basically just talking about Guns N' Roses. So if you guys want to hear it, I've linked to it down below. I also want to let you guys know about a documentary um, about Slash that was called Raised on the Sunset Strip. Now, the full documentary was available in its entirety on YouTube at one point, but I guess it's no longer available. But there's like a nine minute snippet uh, featuring Dave Grohl. And Dave Grohl, I think this is the first time I've ever heard him talk about playing with Slash and Duff on Slash's uh, solo record in 2010. He played on a song called Watch, Watch This, which was an instrumental track. Originally, Slash wanted Dave Grohl to sing on the song, but Dave Grohl was kind of hesitant, but he offered to play drums instead. And then we got this song as well. And if you guys are a Guitar Hero fan, then you'll know this song was actually released as part of a DLC pack, DLC pack for Guitar Hero uh, Warriors of Rock um, way back in 2010. So that does it for today's news, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, make sure you subscribe for the latest Guns N' Roses news. And if you've gotten yourself this far to the video, I want to let you guys know that I'm looking at starting a Guns N' Roses podcast, like a bi-weekly podcast, to basically talk about you know the latest Guns N' Roses news, talk about maybe some interesting topics. And if you guys are interested in coming on the podcast because I'm looking for people to talk Guns N' Roses with, you know, comment down below and let me know and maybe I'll reach out to you. That does it for today's video, guys. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Guns N' Roses Daily. I will follow you guys back. And as always, make sure you subscribe for the latest Guns N' Roses news. Take care.